This video will be an example problem regarding Archimedes' principle of buoyant force. And the video does use extensively the relationship that density is mass over volume. I would suggest in just a minute here you pause the video and do various manipulations of this uh, formula. Density equals mass over volume but rearrange it and solve it for mass or rearrange it and solve it for volume. Those, uh, those concepts are going to be important in this solution that the mass can be found by density times volume the volume can be found by mass divided by density. So <coughs> pause the video. Oh, in this problem we have a piece of wood it has a mass of 17 kilograms its specific gravity 0.76 we want to attach some lead underneath the wood such that the wood is barely floating. The wood is totally submerged and of course the lead underneath the wood is submerged and we're doing this in fresh water. Well, when we submerge here, when we displace uh, fluid, we create a buoyant force. And Archimedes tells us that buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid. So in the vertical direction, we can balance the forces. The buoyant force is upward. There's a weight due to the wood, and there's a weight due to the lead. And we're having a situation here of equilibrium. We want the buoyant force to support the weight of the wood and the weight of the lead, and no more, no less. We don't want extra buoyant force where the part of the wood is out of the water. We don't want a lack of buoyant force where the system sinks down and is supported by the floor of the tank. So we're having an equilibrium here. The buoyant force upward is equal in magnitude to the, uh, the total weight. Well, we calculate buoyant force by uh, finding how much water has been displaced in the mass of that water and multiply by acceleration due to gravity. To find the mass of the water that's been displaced, we need to multiply the density of water. We want the mass of the water. We use the density of water times the volume of the water that's displaced. What is displacing water in this problem? Well, it's the wood and the lead. So those two volumes will have to be added together to find the uh, uh, volume that is uh, of displaced water. So again, mass of the water is what we're working on here times the uh, acceleration due to gravity gives us buoyant force. So I'm substituting now for buoyant force. The buoyant force, density times volume, gives us the mass of the water, and g is acceleration due to gravity. The volume of the water displaced is volume of the wood plus volume of the lead. These two objects push water aside, and uh, the volume pushed aside times the density of water gives us the mass of the water. Buoyant force, we need the mass of the fluid that's been pushed aside. We don't, for buoyant force calculation, we don't want the mass of the wood or just the mass of the lead. We want the mass of the fluid that's been pushed aside. Buoyant force is the mass of the fluid that's been displaced. So, density of water, the volume of the water that's been displaced, times g. And I've copied down mass of the wood times g, that's the weight of, for the wood. Mass of the lead times g, that's the weight of the lead. We can simplify our work by noticing there's a factor of acceleration due to gravity in each term. Now, manipulating the density calculation, what is the volume of the wood? The volume of the wood is the mass of the wood divided by the density of the wood. What's the volume of the lead? The volume of the lead is mass of the lead divided by the density of the lead. So I make those substitutions here. Now we have some numbers that we can now put in. The density of water is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. We were given the mass of the wood, 17 kilograms. We were given specific gravity of 0.76. Now the specific gravity can be used to find the density simply by multiplying by the density of water. So 0.76 times 1,000 tells us that the density of the wood is 760 kilograms per cubic meter. You'll notice this is less than the density of water. That's what the specific gravity of 0.76 is telling us. We have an object that's less dense than water. So the lead, we look that density up in a table, and we find 11,300 kilograms per cubic meter. The mass of the wood is 17 kilograms. The mass of the lead is our unknown that we're trying to find. How much how many kilograms of lead do we have to attach to the bottom of this wood? 
Well, we can distribute through here. 1,000 multiplied by 17 divided by 760 produces 22.37. You must also distribute the 1,000 on the second term. The 1,000 times ml divided by 11,300. The 1,000 divided by 11,300 produces this coefficient 0 0.0885 in front of the m sub l. m sub l is unknown, but now we have a number in front of m sub l. We still have minus 17, the kilograms for the wood. We have minus m sub l, the unknown. Now, gathering together like terms, the two numbers are like terms. So 22.37 minus 17 gives us 5.37. I've added ml to both sides. I've subtracted 0 0.0885 ml from both sides. My goal here is to uh, eventually isolate m sub l by itself. So we start by keeping the numbers on the left side, moving the m sub l terms to the right side. And this is minus 1 m sub l, so I added 1 m sub l to both sides. Then I subtracted 0 0.0885 m sub l from both sides. That leaves us with a coefficient in front of m sub l of 0.9115. We have 5.37 is the uh, kilograms on the left side. We divide by 0.9115 on both sides. And we achieve our goal here. The mass of the lead that needs to be attached to the bottom of the wood, 5.89 kilograms. 5.89 kilograms. So this is an example of Archimedes' principle. Buoyant force is the weight of the displaced fluid. The complication here is that we had to do some manipulations to find the volume, an expression for the volume, really, the volume of the water that's been displaced. Both the wood and the lead are displacing water. The volume is found by rearranging the density formula. Density is defined as mass over volume. The volume is mass divided by density. We were given the mass of the wood. We were given specific gravity for the wood that allowed us to get a number for the density of the wood. Again, specific gravity multiplied by the density of water gives you the density of the object. The mass of the lead was unknown, but we had its density. We distributed through the parentheses with the factor of 1,000. We gathered together like terms, and we have 5.89 kilograms. So you can invent your own practice problem like this. I'd suggest you do so, and ask your instructor if you have questions.